it is Christmas Eve, but it is not a silent night. All is not calm. For too many, nothing is bright. And for too many, they are not sleeping peacefully. I did a town hall last night that had people crying, people terrified of what is going to happen. I have for months been talking to 10 restaurant owners a day who are desperately trying to survive. I've been talking to people who were scared they were going to be kicked out from their homes during the Christmas holidays. And still might be if we don't sign this bill. A father who called me two weeks ago and who said to me he had told his child that Santa Claus couldn't come this year, but he wanted to be able to feed her for Christmas. People don't know what the hurt is like there. Was this bill perfect? No. But it was a down payment on getting COVID relief to the people of this country. And then the president, when we finally thought that we'd be able to give people hope, that's what people need, hope and be able to begin to continue to work on this in January, he doesn't give a damn about people. He threw more fear. He threw kerosene on a terror fire and is now threatening to veto this bill. Today, Mr. Hoyer, on behalf of he and the speaker, brought a resolution that would have immediately given that $2,000 payment that the president said he wanted. And Republicans blocked it, not Democrats. I'm merely here to say on Christmas Eve, we will come back in on Monday. I beg the president to know how many people in this country are scared, fearful, terror, hungry, and that we must get a bill done so that we are helping Americans. Compassion, empathy, those kindness are the words we should remember this holiday season. Thank you.